incorporate the same this particular thing is my agenda for this particular video business functions this particular slide i find is of utmost importance because we whatever concept we learn in commerce is somewhere or the other hidden in this particular slide so in the 11th standard 12th standard we talk about accountancy bookkeeping organization of commerce and management uh, purchasing and store keeping uh, we are we are learning about secretarial practices maths languages economics and so on and as we approach towards our degree college academics then we get to learn financial accounting cost accounting managerial accounting taxation economics again micro macroeconomics we get to understand what auditing is what financial management is all about management in itself then human resources marketing supply chain logistics management and and many many more concepts are there that we learn under commerce so if we do segregate the same as far as you know keeping in mind that what a particular company or what a particular organization must be doing as a whole then it is very very easy to understand that whatever is given in our syllabus whatever is offered to us for studying is what actually been taken into the practice in the real life so in order to understand the functions of a business organization for example a company so if we take company form of organization in mind a company for example a manufacturing company at any given point of time engaged into these functions there is procurement function production function finance element is there marketing is there human resources public relations sales customer service and so on but as we have already studied in our 11th and 12th standard apart from organization functions there are managerial functions as well starting from planning organizing coordinating directing staffing controlling motivating decision making and so on and here i am as promised earlier i am trying to join in the dots in the minds of students when they get to learn these things in different different subjects so if we do consider it in mind that each and everything is interconnected with each other then our studies become interesting and we do start finding meaning behind the same so let me give you a quick example if i pick a word finance from left hand side and if i apply all the concepts of right hand side which are nothing but the managerial functions onto that word just we just picked up which is finance we do get the curriculum for the study area called as financial management so let us try to do a fun activity over here we have picked finance from here so let us combine the word planning with it what do we get financial planning so what do we understand by that for a company to be running its business to be doing for what it has incorporated for what it has intended to do in order to do it it is going to need finance in the short as well as long run so then how we are going to plan our financial resources is what is covered in the financial planning finance plus organizing here we are talking about major three components of financial management financing decision investment decision and dividend decision from what and how many sources i am going to raise funds it is my financing decision as a company after raising the funds in what areas i am going to invest those funds is my investment decision and after earning a profit for the year how much we are going to retain in the company and how much we are going to distribute as a dividend is my dividend decision then coordination yes coordination of the funds application of the funds with our 
business plans directing people about utilization of the funds directing the funds in the right manner and in the appropriate manner staffing the right people as far as finance is concerned having a control over all the policies people procedures and resources as far as finance is concerned and at every step decision making is required as far as finance is concerned in order to stay solvent in order to keep our liquidity positions online in order to uh, operate appropriately as far as finance is concerned so that that was my quick demonstration of financial management so if we learn in this manner at the beginning of our undergraduate program so then the study becomes interesting and the study becomes comprehensive so with this ppt when i try to teach my students who are starting their academic journeys as far as undergraduate degree course is concerned i start off with this kind of discussion in order to make them understand about their concerned subject whether it is accounting whether it is taxation or whether it is finance this part particular ppt is a comprehensive one and it is generally applicable in nature i hope you have enjoyed the understanding i hope you have enjoyed this particular discussion thank you so much